Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. So, Unify 5.4.9 has been pushed to the repositories. So it was actually released on, uh, I think, the 19th. If we go to the download site, uh, yeah, 1-19-2017. But it was pushed to the repositories, so if you're doing an apt-get uh, upgrade or you have a cloud key, you can upgrade automatically, and that's what we're going to cover. Um, real quick, let's go ahead and log in. Now, the last time we updated, okay, so we're going to log in to our Unify controller. The last time we did an upgrade, we did it through the actual cloud key interface, and someone wanted to know if I could show the alternative method to that. So you log into your Unify instance that's on your cloud key, and you go to settings, maintenance. And we scroll down under maintenance and cloud key firmware. It says is up to date. You can click check check for update. And we're up to date. And cloud key controller. Current version is 5.3.11-8935. Available version is 5.4.9-9150 because it has been pushed to the repositories. So there is an update available. So we can go ahead and hit apply update. Now it says, are you sure you want to apply? Make sure you have a backup. We'll go over here. Today is the 23rd. So do our auto backup. We've got our backup from 6 o'clock. So we should be good there. So we'll go back to maintenance. And we will apply the update. And we will confirm that. And now we're going to get this little spinning icon until the update's done. So while that's updating, we'll take a look at what's new in uh, 5.4.9. So um, if we come over to the the release, you know, it talks about some of the changes that we had that we even saw with 5.3.11. talks about the Java versions and things like that. Um, new features. You can import and export a site. Hotspot portal with Google Facebook authentication. This is still in beta. And then it adds support for the US 16XG. And if you're asking what the US, the US 16XG is, I'll show you. The US 16XG is the 10 gigabit uh, Unify switch. I don't know how well you can see that. Might be a little bit better like that, but uh, there are 12 10 gig SFP plus ports and four copper ports, and this is for Unify. So they added the support for that. And let's see. If we come down here, so you're going to see different versions of the controller where they've talked about you know, they've ported changes or they have, you know, um, done changes from, so they've done changes from 5.4.8. We were on 5.3.11. So here are the changes from 5.3 for 11. You can um, read through all of these. Some of them are going to maybe important to you. Some of them, some of them may not. Um, but then you can see where there are beta versions of the controller out there where they've taken changes and imported those in. Here's some controller bug changes specific to Unify Elite and that's improved discovering devices add support for device licenses. Then we also talk about firmware changes. Now I know I'm going to get questions about Unify Elite so um, we'll come back to that in just a second. It looks like our upgrade may be done. We'll refresh this guy. Okay, so now we're on 5.4.9, which this is the latest long-term support release, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, import export site, we will uh, we'll talk about that and about how it's going to relate to possibly relate to the Unify Elite. 
if you go to the Unify section of the community, and I'll put these links down in the description, there are a couple of discussions that they've pinned at the top that talk about the LTS um, announcement and release schedule and then notes on how they're naming things and or how they're going to be released. So um, a week ago Mike said, hi all, as you may know we're using a different release schedule. You've likely also noticed that you see both stable candidate release and stable releases in the community. When there is a new release in the community it typically will be in the form of a stable candidate. This is a release that should be good for the next stable release. It is released to the community only and only available via the blog post. So they are not pushing that to the repositories to do automatic upgrades. Assuming there aren't any major issues discovered, that version will be re-released as stable exactly one week after it is released as a stable candidate. This initial stable release will also be available only in the community blog post. One week from the time a release goes stable will be pushed to the download site and the Debian, Ubuntu, Cloud Key repositories, etc. So that's how they're, they're going to handle that. And then if we look at what they're going to do for long-term support. This was edited last Wednesday. Mike says, hi all, this blog post is to announce that the 5.4.x will be the next LTS version of Unify. This will be the LTS version for the next six months. So for six months they will support the 5.4.x um, release series. And it will replace the 4. 8.x is the official LTS version. This change happens when 5.4.9 gets pushed on 123.17 today. The reason for going with 5.4.x is because it supports all current hardware whereas say 5.3 and 5.2 do not. And then he talks about where you can find some of the other posts and subscribing and staying current. So if you don't do that I suggest that you cruise on over to community.ubnt.com Go over to the Unify section, sign up for the blog announcements because when they post those announcements, you will get an email and you can stay up to date. So, um, import, we'll come back to our um, dashboard. And right here it says import a site. So, we're going to be able to import a site, but then we can also export a site. So, to export a site, you will go to settings and on the very first screen, there's this button that says export site. So you can see it exported as 5.4.9 underscore default dot unf because this is the default site for this controller. We could take this over to another controller and import it or we could go to Unify Elite and import it. So what is Unify Elite? If you have a Ubiquity Networks um, SSO account, you know, you're a member of the community, um, or you've used cloud access for your cloud key. If you go over to unify.ubnt.com, you're going to see this Unify Elite button, and I've been getting a ton of questions about what this is. So, what this is, this is going to be Ubiquity's cloud hosted controller, and they're going to take care of all the infrastructure, all of the backup. You're going to get priority support with this you're going to be able to get warranty on the hardware so it's like if you're used to like a Cisco or a Juniper it's like a TAC or a JTAC um, so it's a higher level of support so um, some some there must have been enough people that requested this that Ubiquity um, decided to put the resources into developing this and if you go to your unified.ubnt.com and go to Unify Elite Setup, now I don't I don't have any of those sites, but we'll take a look real quick. The first thing you've got to do is put in your billing information, and the Unify controller is uh, forty five dollars a month. If you're in uh, the beta program, it's twenty two fifty a month, and I, but it is in beta, so if you're going to use it, don't be surprised if things get hosed. I would not use this in production at this point, but you will be able to import and export sites out of a standalone controller that you've already got into this. Or you can import and export your sites between controllers all over the place. But I've been getting a lot of questions about what this is. Now if you go out and you search on the forum and you're part of the beta group, um, you will see where Brandon 
has talked in Brandon's kind of the head of Unify. You will see where he has talked about what the pricing structure is going to be for the support and for the warranty for the devices. So go out and always, you know, look at the community for that latest information. I may not be up to date on that. So Unify Elite, that's what this is, and I expect it to be um, a, a top-notch product. So if it's if it's not, it would really surprise me. Um, back to this is a. Uh, not my main controller that we're working on. Here's the one we're working on. Uh, some other things um, that you may have noticed is now you've got this profile so you can actually set up radius profiles. Um, I believe the radius server is now built into later versions of the cloud key so you can run a radius service for wireless authentication or um, I did notice that it did automatically connect us to the to the, the cloud key or to the, the cloud access. It did automatically connect us to the cloud access. I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to disable and remove that. So that's kind of it right now for 5.4.9. Um, I am going to cover some more of these features in detail in the next Unify video. Of course the next video um, will be PFSense and then after that will be another Unify video. So if you like this video please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Turn on your notifications so that when I push a video you're notified. Uh, if you've got questions or comments Leave them down there. We'll try to answer them, and we'll see you in the next video.